right guys so last video we had we had a couple mods done to the car this is video vet vlog number three and again some mods done to the car as well so first thing you're going to notice is the tint on the side windows and the back window these are uh, this is 20 percent tint and it is um, ceramic nano ceramic coating to uh, make sure that the the temperatures stay down inside 20 percent tint it's about as dark as i want to go um, I really had a hard time finding somebody that would tint the back window. That C6 back window, if you guys don't know, not many people like to tint that thing. It is hard to do because of the curvature. Also, I've talked to a few companies that wanted to do that back window in three different pieces. And I said, of course, hell no. Uh, I'm not doing three pieces. This is going to be one piece. And so they did it for me for one piece. And uh, that's great. One company I had price quote of $599 to tint three windows, the two sides and then that back window with the nano, nano ceramic coating. Again, I said, hell no, that was too much. So I continued to look around, got some advice from uh, some other Corvette owners in the area, ended up going to Bargetown, Kentucky, talked to Sun Solutions down there. They really hooked me up, did a great job with it and uh, installed it for $350 for all three pieces. Now, they did tell me, however, that this dot matrix is back here in the back. Let's see if I can get the sun glare to go away. But that dot matrix, you can see there's some gaps and some spaces. You're gonna get that, right? From the dot matrix in this film. So what they did was they ordered some dot matrix film. It's a film that's specifically thin. And it's, uh, what they do is they take a razor blade and they just cut along the edge here and peel apart this film that they currently installed. And they put a dot matrix film on there, which is a thinner film. And from what I understand, it's gonna look a lot more like, let's see if I can see it in the video, I got a glare as well, but it's gonna look a lot more like this line right here. See how this line is nice and dark compared to even this better section, and this is the worst section. From what I understand, it's gonna look like that right there. So much better, much better um, tent job uh, whenever we get it completely finished. So uh, another thing that you're gonna notice, the mods that I've done to this car, if you uh, pay attention to my Instagram account, you guys already know these things. Like I said before, make sure you subscribe to the Instagram account. I uh, post previews to all the mods that uh, these videos are about. So these handles right here, these door handles by RPI Designs, they're um, color matched. Before they were black. Uh, these are going to be, they're color matched now. A lot of people just say, no, I'll just take them off. And you can actually unbolt them and slide them off and not have any any handle piece there at all the problem with that is depending how old your car is underneath the here there's some scratches and some marring from the stock uh door handle trim piece so uh i went ahead and said heck with it i paid for it to be done and i had the um the color match put on rpi designs did those if you want those from rpi you're gonna wait a while they take forever they do great color matching as you can see with the rear spoiler and with those door uh, handles Great color matching, especially on this color, it's hard to do, this Inferno Orange. But you're gonna wait a while to get them. Uh, I think I waited like six to eight weeks just to get those handles in. I do have other pieces and parts coming from them, but they are delaying um, with sending that as well. And I don't know exactly know why, I gotta give them a call and find out, but they're doing, uh, they're doing a bunch right now, I'm sure, with a bunch of people in the summer, so. All right, guys, another mod that I had done that I haven't really talked about, just got it back today, is those wheels, I'm sorry, those tires, uh, and the wheels, really. The back wheels that I had on there before had a really bad curb rash. So I had found these brand new in a box, never been used, rear 19 by 12, competition gray, Grand Sport wheels. And I had them sitting in the garage because I knew I was gonna get different tires. And I decided to go with these Nitto R555R2s, the Nitto 555R2s, drag radio, um, DOT street legal. And uh, I tell you, I just got this back today and I love the tires. For one, when I switched to the Continentals from the stock tires, the ride quality got better. The stock tires are run flats, they were also 10 years old, so they were hard and brittle. Uh, switched to the Continentals and they're not run flats, but they rode phenomenal. Switching to these is an even better ride quality difference. Uh, you can see there how much they go. I mean, they're right at the edge. Perfect stance, in my opinion, right there. Uh, I love it. Didn't have to go with aftermarket wheels or anything like that. I, I just got a perfect stance. 
But these Nitto Triple Five R2s um, with a little bit bigger sidewall, these are almost 14 inches wide as well. Uh, they're 13.7 inches wide or something, 13.8 inches wide. I'll show you that here, but the, uh, you see how wide they are. But the run, the ride quality got so much better with the higher uh, or the, the larger uh, sidewall on these things. Now, not only did I go with the triple five in the back, I have to match, couldn't run the Contis in the front. So I got the triple fives in the front as well, but these are the triple five G2s. Uh, these are more of a wet dry weather. Um, the rear is a competition tire. This is more of a street tire. Um, but I can show you kind of the tread pattern here. Um, still pretty, pretty nice aggressive tread pattern and um, good grip as well. Um, so those are 285, 35, 18s, 285, 35, 18. The stock tires are 275, 35, 18. So these are just a little bit wider and a little bit taller, not a whole lot. But um, you can see the wheel gap is really in a good spot right there i like that wheel gap um i mean i don't like any wheel gap but that's as best as i'm gonna get this car is lowered on stock bolts i did not trim any of the uh, rubber bushing on the the lowering bolts i just lowered them down as far as they would go and that's where we're sitting there so uh keep in mind that this car was up on jack stands for about an hour or so the springs have kind of yet to settle in a little bit uh, they have to do a little bit more i think but you can see the uh the wheel gap there and again in the back they're lowered all the way as much as possible so uh these wheels in the back are ceramic coated i had them done whenever i had the car ceramic coated the wheels in the front are not ceramic coated and you can kind of show you i'm looking for a set of front 18 inch stock wheels but um these this wheel is in okay condition uh there's some that's just from the tire shop, I think. Let's look at the other one. Uh, the rear uh, the rear ones that I had on here before, curb rash from the previous owner, and it was, it was pretty nasty. Uh, let's see, there is a mark here on these 18 inch wheels in the front. There's a mark there. Um, they're okay though. They're not the best in my opinion. I wanna get another set just to have on hand because these are hard to find wheels and the people who have them got them from whenever they ordered their car. So, um, but these backs, back wheels are brand spanking new, never been used. So, um, but there they are. And you can see that that tire is great. I absolutely love the stance that it gives this car. So it's perfect. So, um, I'll show you the backs, by the way, sorry, I didn't mention it before. The backs are 345. 3019 345 3019 uh where's it at on the tire here we go i'll show it to you 345 3019 so pretty darn wild the stock the stock rear tires are 325 3019 so these went up a little bit in height and they went quite a bit wider as well but this is a 345 30 in the back and a three traction 285 35 in the front so that's what they look like. And I'll show you now what the what the rear wheels looked like before. Now, all right, so let me show you what the original rear wheels looked like. Here's a, one of the tires there. I'll pop the top off on the Jeep here. There we go. So here's the original rear wheel. Um, you can see there's a scuff there. Um, this isn't even the bad one. I'll have to go around and show you the bad one. There's my old tires. I have a guy coming tomorrow to buy these uh, Continental tires that I have, but you can see, I mean, these only had 500 miles on them, maybe 50, 1,500, 500, 1,500, somewhere in there. I can't remember, but they, uh, they're in really great condition still. Uh, I really like this tire um, for my use. It was really good uh, at first, and then putting the, the cam and the headers and stuff on, I just wanted a little bit more grip. And I'm going to get some more power in the future. Who knows? Stand by for that one. But this is uh, what the wheel looked like originally. Not by me. This is from the previous owner. So what I'm going to do, and there's another little piece right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this uh, right here there too. I'm going to have this wheel refinished. And I have a company refinish these wheels. And I'm going to put these in a box and save them. 
uh, because they are hard to find. So I'm gonna put them in a box, save those so that I can uh, use them in the future if I ever need to, uh, to replace. So again, I'm looking for a set of fronts. Look at how wide that is. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Crazy wide. So what I'm looking for is a, a set of new, preferably new, or really good condition front 18 by 10s, uh, the competition gray wheel. I've seen some silver ones, but uh, this car came with competition gray. I want to keep it competition gray because uh, it's, it's a very rare color combination with the infernal orange, I think. So, uh, but there's the car, guys. Absolutely loving it. Uh, the exhaust, again, I, I've, I'm not quite a fan of long tubes uh, with no cats. We're waiting on the catalytic converter mid pipe to come in. Uh, I'm debating on uh, possibly another exhaust setup uh, that'll still a little bit free, more free flowing than the stock one, but uh, not quite as loud. It's just it's it's loud and obnoxious, and I'm I'm old. Call me old, whatever is what it is. But I uh, I'm just not quite a fan of long tubes. I wasn't a fan of long tubes on my Mustangs. I never really put them on my Mustangs. I just don't like that hollow, raspy sound and uh, that rattle sound and. The car does sound good. Everybody loves the way it sounds and that's great, but uh, what if the owner doesn't like it, right? So I'm gonna have to look and see what else I can do. So uh, I'm gonna try and throw on that catted mid pipe and see if that uh, makes it a little bit better in sound. If not, I'm gonna um, probably go a different route. So, uh, all right guys, uh, I will talk to y'all later on. Thanks for tuning in to the channel. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and notification. I got a lot more coming up with this car. And if you're into Jeeps, that sucker right there is going to be changing its look quite a bit in the next couple months. So uh, make sure you guys stay tuned. A lot coming. All right, guys, take care. We'll see you. Be safe.